Hello, Times Crossword, let's go. Some tabloids principally have control over breaking news. No. Cover in outbuilding, not quite retaining warmth. Ah, yes, sheath. So the outbuilding is a shed. Sheath rather is cover. Outbuilding is shed, not quite, means without its final D. Retaining warmth, retaining heat. Return of American poet mostly creates excitement. Source of, for example, iron. Yeah, this is ore. A source of iron, amongst other things. And gold, well, O-R, is, I think, a heraldic term referring to gold. And close to Kalgoorlie just refers to the closing letter of that word, which is E. Sad way to refer to retiring. No. Former city CEO, perhaps. Yeah, this is exec. Former indicates X. And then city EC is the... The, the code for the part of London, which is the City of London, the Central Financial District. And an exec is a CEO, perhaps. Some tabloids, principally, have control over breaking news. No, not getting that. Already looked at that. Apprentice missing first. Money making initiative. Small sheep that is dozier than all the others. Loyal friend starts to act tearful. Consumed by feelings of tenderness. Gosh, could be a stiff challenge today. Plant secures agreements from French state. I think this is going to be Louisiana, uh, uh, a state in America. So plant is Liana, a climbing plant. And agreements from French are the French words for yes, which are wheeze. Having come out, feel ultimately enthralled. Yeah, this is a bloom. So, having come out is a bloom. Feel ultimately is the ultimate letter in feel, which is L, enthralled by a period of growth, a boom. Loyal friend. I'm thinking Achates is a loyal friend, but I'm not getting the, from Greek mythology, but I'm not understanding the wordplay, so I'll leave that. Give a speech, well that could be orate, about training. Yeah, this is a classic crossword abbreviation. So give a speech is orate. Training is PE, which is short for physical education, which is how games classes in school were and possibly are referred to. Hooligan, put up a fight. Wow. Yes, phew. I was thinking roundhouse, but couldn't get it to work, and it's rough house. So a hooligan is a rough. Put up is house, as in to provide accommodation. And a rough house is a fight, either a noun or a verb. Loyal friend, well, a Katie still works. That would provide a T in first place. Diagnostic test introduced by group of workers. Yeah, this is Tuscan. So a diagnostic test is a scan introduced by a group of workers. Well, TU is stands for trade union, which is a group of worker group of workers. 
and a Tuscan is somebody from Tuscany in Italy. Let me put in Achates and see if I can understand the wordplay. So I think Achates is a loyal friend in Greek mythology. Starts to act tearful. Well, that could be A and T. Consumed by feelings of tenderness. It just isn't working, but I am going to leave it in for the moment. Surrounded by low-pitched backing, a harps played like a lute. No. Okay, so where do we get to? Showing restraint in blocking pictures on a website, say. Nope. Occasional bits of false info in your dreams. Occasional could indicate every other letter. So A-S-I-F, and it is as if. So alternate letters in false info are A-S-I-F, and as if means in your dreams. It's just modern British slang, possibly other countries as well. Negative mindset fades out with time. Well, I think this is going to be defeatism. It fits the definition of a negative mindset. Fades out Ah, well, maybe it's defeatist rather than defeatism, and maybe the definition is negative, giving you defeatist, and then mindset fades out. Wow, it could be M or T. I'm actually going to delete that last letter, and I'll come back to that once I know what that letter is. Old fighter somewhat exhilaratingly knocked back. So yes, this is Ali. Ali is a reference to Muhammad Ali, a, a boxer from a few decades ago, and somewhat indicates some of the letters of exhilaratingly knocked back. So in the middle of exhilaratingly, you've got A-L-I reversed, which gives you Ali. Top expert on board. No. Now this ends M or T. Bit of power seized by joint US paramilitary force. No. So Yorkshire person's specific justification for being disloyal Mark is caught with grass in school. No. Top expert on board. I wonder if that begins C. S E A. Crew has time. Where is this? Crew has time for a drink. No, wow, this is a tough puzzle. Return of American poet, mostly, creates excitement. Sad way to refer to retiring. No, ah oh, well, a few letters in this one. Surrounded by low-pitched backing. Well, low-pitched is deep. Backing means reversed. So this could begin P-E. A harps played. That looks like an anagram of a harps. And it is. And that gives you pear-shaped. And like a lute is pear-shaped because that is the shape of the musical instrument. So a couple of crossing letters, not massively helpful. Legal guideline could be rule of, rule of law perhaps. Let's put that in and see if that works. 
in sport could be RU for rugby union, failing, floor, to protect group of stars, well, Leo is a constellation of stars. Great, a few more crossing letters, the W looks the most useful. Bit of power, yeah, this is SWAT team. So a bit of power is a what, seized by joint, by seam. And then a SWAT team is a US paramilitary force. So it is defeatism. Let me have a quick look at the word play. Negative mindset is the definition. Fades out with time. Fades out. Could be an anagram. Yes, out is the anagram indicator for fades and time. So the anagram letters are split up in the word, but the with indicates that they should be considered together. So it's an anagram of fades and time. Great, an A in last place, that's often helpful. Oregano sprinkled over the middle of meals. That looks like an anagram of oregano, seven letters, and the letter A. It's best avoided. Surely a no-go area, is that oregano? Ooh, is it oregano? Yes, it is. So that does fit the word play. Now, no more help for 21 down. Top. Yeah, this is surface. So a surface is a top and an expert on a board could be an expert on a surfboard who could be described as a surf ace. Crew has time for a drink. So it looks like T is for time. We're looking for a word. Ah, wow, this is obscure. So a posse is a crew. T is time and a posset is a drink, I believe. Bins accept less rubbish. So bins looks like the definition. Rubbish looks like an anagram indicator for accept less. So, ah, wow, nice. You think bins indicates a receptacle for rubbish, but actually bins are short for binoculars. And I think spectacles can refer to binoculars. And spectacles is an anagram of accept less. Phew, glad to get that one. Still quite a bit to go and 12 minutes down. I'm conscious of the fact I haven't looked at all of the across clues, so I'm going to do that. In the end, Lovers naturally part. No. High ranking head of inquisition appearing in Man of La Mancha. No. Jam in second drawer or drawer on counter. Grief, no. And now I've already looked at the others, so let me have a look at some of these down clues where we've got letters from spectacles. Yorkshire persons. Specific justification for being disloyal. Ah, oh, wow. Yorkshire people, and Yorkshire is a county in... England, Yorkshire people often say t for the. So a Yorkshire person's reason wouldn't be the reason, it would be t reason. And then treason is being disloyal. Wow. Okay. Let me finish looking at these down words which benefit from spectacles. Showing restraint in could be just in blocking pictures could be well cines i was thinking but that might be a bit too loose on a website say and I, it looks like the definition is showing restraint so it could end ent 
So that would put a T in fourth place. In the end, oh wow. Yeah. So it, the end of lovers is S. Naturally is natch, just a slang term for naturally. And a snatch is just a part of something like a snatch of a song. So it does look like it ends ENT, but I'll return to that. Mark is caught with grass in school. So school could be SCH and TCH is an ending and a scratch is a mark. Does that work though? So mark is scratch. Court is C, the cricketing abbreviation, with grass, with rat, to rat on somebody is to grass on them. In school, in SCH, so that is right. High ranking, head of inquisition, and this looks like the Spanish inquisition, or that's what you're meant to think it looks like, appearing in Man of La Mancha. I wonder if La Mancha is in Spain and Man of La Mancha refers to the Spanish word for man, but I think that's hom. So that's going nowhere. Jam. In second drawer. I wonder if this begins S. That goes well with T and it could be the abbreviation for second. Drawer on counter jam just not getting that showing restraint in blocking pictures on a website say what website could end ENT no idea okay Small sheep, lamb, or it could be S followed by a word for sheep, which could, oh wow, and I think that is it. So, small is S, the abbreviation, sheep is tup, that is, is id est, the Latin, which is often shorted to, shortened to IE, which is more recognisable for that is. And dozier than all the others is stupidest. Jam. Standstill. If you're in a jam you of traffic, you're at a standstill. Second is S. Or could be this second S. Drawer is till. On counter. Could stand be a counter. I think it could be in a shop. Yeah. Now, we're in this situation where the remaining clues are split into two sections. So I'm going to see if I can mop up the two at the bottom of the board first. Showing restraint. So confident fits, but that doesn't mean showing restraint. But it is going to be a vowel in second place. In, if in is in, this could be C-I-N. No, not seeing any words with an I there. In, blocking pictures on a website. Wow, don't know. High ranking, these are such unhelpful letters. High ranking. Head of Inquisition, that could be just the letter I. Oh, wow, yes, because Spanish for man is not hom, that might be French, it's senor. So Head of Inquisition is I in Spanish for man in senor, gives you senior, which means high ranking. Now we get the letter I, which is not helpful, but better than nothing. And confidence still fits, but that definitely doesn't mean showing restraint. But it probably does begin con because more words begin con than any other vowel in second place. 
Now, I wonder if N is N, and the it appears down here. Ah, oh, continent. If you're continent, you show restraint, because you're, if you're incontinent, you don't. So N is N, blocking pictures on a website, say. I'm sure this is right, because the definition certainly fits. In blocking pictures. Pictures, what are pictures? On a website, say, wow, really not getting that at all. I will return to that, not with any great hopes. Sad way to refer to retiring 21 minutes down. Way to refer to retiring. Nope. Ah, two S's, that could be good. Return of American poet, mostly, creates excitement. Well, distress fits, but of course that's the opposite of excitement. American could be US, but the word's unlikely to end SU. One down. Some tabloids principally have control over breaking news. So if breaking news is an anagram of news, well, it's not going to end W-E-N-S. A tabloid is a certain size of newspaper. Ah, well, yes, it's a newspaper, so it could end press. Principally have control over breaking news. Well, I'm not confident, but let's see if the P helps ten across. Sad could be pathetic. Way could be path to refer to retiring, to sight, retiring or going back. View and another unhelpful crossing letter. Apprentice could be a learner. Missing first, missing its first letter, gives earner, which is a way of referring to a money-making initiative, a nice little earner. So another unhelpful letter, but we are now down to just two clues, plus one dodgy 13 down. Return of American poet mostly creates excitement well yes i think excitement can be suspense american poet return of american is return of us to give su and poet mostly is most of spencer edmund spencer the poet so that is right ah this is going to be stop press so some tabloids principally are the principal letters of some tabloids, ST, have control over is a press. And then breaking news is another way or stop press is another way of referring to breaking news. So that is everything done. 24 minutes down. Let me come back to 13 down. Showing restraint does mean continent and nothing else I can think of means showing restraint. In blocking pictures, ah, yes, in is I-N, and then pictures on a website say are content. So in blocking content gives you continent. Phew. So every clue solved, every clue explained, no empty squares. Submit, submit, hope and pray. No errors. Fantastic. Wow. What a challenge. That was a tricky, tricky puzzle. It was tough to get going and it was tough 
throughout. It took nearly 25 minutes, but it felt like it was taking a lot longer. And for quite a while, I thought that I may not finish within within 30 minutes. I found that the final 10 clues, I just ground them out. And Continent was an absolute beast of a clue in terms of solving it because I was looking in terms of the wordplay for a lot more going on than just one word to refer to pictures on a website say. But overall, very, very challenging puzzle. And a lot of the crossing letters were not helpful ones. They were just vowels or high probability consonants, which just made the solving that much more difficult. However, a beautiful puzzle nonetheless, and great fun, especially to get to the end of such a challenging puzzle. I would have thought that the snitch for this puzzle could well be in the 90s, but amazing fun and delighted to have had the opportunity to solve it. So I hope you enjoyed watching that solve. Like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.